Hello backers and friends of Watermelon. Uh, we're here to do another update about Pure Solar HD and its development. Uh, first things, I would like to say that we have been listening to you. We are hearing everything that you guys send as suggestions, private message. Uh, if you didn't get an answer, be sure that probably another person already wrote something similar to what you did and we are writing down everything that you guys are suggesting and we're taking everything into consideration. Today I would like to talk about a few things and the first of them would be the graphics. Pure Solar HD, as you guys already know, it has this unique graphic uh, appearance that we're mixing pixel art and uh, HD art. And recently we have been at Indiecade in Los Angeles with Nintendo and we were able to show Pure Solar to the public and we are very pleased to say that the acceptance is so good. We are very happy that people are looking into it and they are, they are liking to see HD graphics with a nostalgic pixelated graphics and they are blending really well. So that's a, that's a good thing for us to see that we are going in the right direction. Uh, but it's also the result of a lot of struggle that we had in the first stages of the development of the conceptual development of how the graphics would work because we had to work with the team of designers in order to find the right balance what elements go pixel, what elements go HD so that the game doesn't look too pixelated or not enough pixelated and we are getting close to the development of those graphics and we are gonna be posting more stuff for the backers uh, with the graphics updates and everything so stay tuned. One thing that also I would like to talk about is about Xbox part of our uh, development. Since we got funded, we have been writing to Microsoft on a monthly basis. Every month we write to Microsoft an email and say, hey, uh, we are funded, we would like to get it published to Xbox 360, and uh, Microsoft never, never even bothered to say, no, we are not interested. We, we never got a reply from Microsoft regarding anything uh, about Pure Solar HD for Xbox 360. Then once Microsoft announced the Xbox One, we kind of figured, well, they're probably shutting down the whole platform. And then Microsoft announced the ID at Xbox. And that's something that we say, okay, now if they're wanting to make peace with the independent developers, probably they're going to listen to us, they want to talk to us. So uh, I started submitting application for Microsoft as, as soon as I heard about the news. The website says that they're going to get back to us in five days. Well, they didn't. And then I decided to uh, apply again and again so every two weeks I submit an application I did get an email back from Microsoft asking little extra information about our game that was in October it was actually when I was at Indicate I did reply to that email and never heard anything back I kinda sent that email to them again just in case it got missed but I haven't heard from them since so as far as that goes we are in this situation to which if we keep waiting for Microsoft we may delay Pure Solar indefinitely and we don't want to do that so what we really want to do is we want to get Pure Solar released if Microsoft decides to show up one day that's going to be great if they don't the initial release is probably going to happen without the Xbox so with that said there's one thing that I would like to say we are thinking about sending a survey to know from the people who got the Xbox version, uh, who would be interested in get that version switched with either PC or... Uh, <laughs> I think I should not be talking about that yet. But um, we want to know who wants to switch the version between Wii U, PC and whatever. So uh, we're probably going to send a survey very soon for all the Xbox backers to know if you have interest in exchange your version for some some other version so that you don't miss the release date and then eventually if we made to the Xbox Live the game will also be available there I think we also always talk about um, little things here and there that we are doing and <clears throat> last time I, I mentioned that the game development was going really good and I said that we were working in, in the director's cut version of the game and the director's cut version is all settled already and I'm just like finalizing the final programming touches all the dialogues are already uh, the new dialogues are already inserted so we get we are getting ready for all the translations to happen and I'm finalizing the script just to make sure that all the new things get into place and the game is running and everything's looking good 
before I can start beta testing. And on the other hand, there is also the actual game engine programming, which uh, has a lot of development, which is obviously the reason that we were able to go and show the game at Indicate. And I have to, I just want to say a big, really big thank you and congratulate and invite you all just to thank uh, Chewy with Daniel Lancha Tui, the our main uh, developer for the new version, for having done an excellent job. He he's really dedicated. He gets into it. If there's a bug, he goes there. And he kills it. If another bug comes up, he kills it. He's a bug killer. He's a great guy, and he is very dedicated. So thank you, Chewy, and um, we are very happy to with all the progress. With all this thing said, I already mentioned like, oh yeah, we're finishing this, we're finishing that, we have to do translation, we have to do better testing. I guess it's pretty obvious by now, um, because of a few elements during the development, uh, we are delayed for probably two months, maybe three, but we are doing all the efforts so that we can get the game released. We are targeting to get it released by March, so um, if you... Uh, are wondering if the game is gonna come for holidays probably not well obviously it won't <laughs> it, it's not gonna it's not coming for holidays but we are working as much as you can and we have all the support from um, the video game companies uh, to get the game released as soon as you get it ready so it's just a matter of uh, getting everything ready and tested and we're gonna start right away to submit it to to get it released on the electronic shops which is probably a good thing um, if you think that if we were to send things during Christmas it was more likely to get delayed because Christmas is just a terrible time for shipping anything and also the eShop I'm sure a lot of uh, things are gonna be published by then and then we probably wanna get Pierce a little spotlight so I guess a few months after Christmas we're gonna be able to get better visibility. Now um, I think it's something that you guys would like to know and uh, probably a lot of people already suspect this and I kinda hinted here and there in some interviews that I did. Um, it's official Pure Solar for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Uh, we are licensed by Sony actually since the time when we finished Kickstarter we just wanted to make sure that we were, we were going to be able to incorporate everything in a single release. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you with me to my testing room and I'm going to show you the game running on both PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. And here we are. Um, now I'm going to be showing you guys uh, Pure Solar running on PlayStation. <laughs> Okay, um, so first off, PS3, because of, obviously I'll leave PS4 for the last. So let's let's do this. Here's Pure Solar, and here we go. Um, one thing I'm gonna do this time, I'm really gonna skip all the dialogues because I'm sure you guys already saw this intro a few times here and there. So no need for me to be showing you all the dialogues one by one. But at least you will be able to see not not only a bit of the debug version of Pure Solar, but also a few things of the game. So here we go. So this is really neat. Because you will see that if I be pushing this button, dialogue would just go in a specific game speed. But I got this neat function here that's only for the bug that I can speed up the game and do this. Ah, yes. So here we are. Yes. I want to save my father. No, you can't. Okay. Here we go. Um, one of the things that Chewie have been doing is a lot of tuning about how to load the textures and to load everything. 
And as you probably see, um, when I switched the houses, this transition was really quick. I may assure you, it wasn't like that in the beginning. Um, it actually uh, used to, initially it was taking about 20 seconds between transitions and it's all things that we learn about how to deal with the system, how to better load textures and such. And um, we learn a lot about these machines and we improve the performance like really a lot. You see how quick the transition? I'm sure a lot of you are saying, well, well that's the least you can expect from a PlayStation 3, but still, um, it is something that we had to struggle in the beginning, but now it's all good. And I don't know if this was seen in uh, a previous version of the game, the light effects as I go on the dark places on 